What is up guys? Welcome to Mac Racing Carts. Today we are kicking our build off series on the 75 mile an hour go-kart. We're taking our mods of our 212 and putting them on our 212 Hemi. So let's go on up and start taking those All right guys, so we're basically just gonna be adding the Go Power Sports uh, performance kit. It's the air filter, header pipe with muffler, and carb, jet carb. And eighteen pound valve springs. Had to think about it. So yeah, we'll be adding those items oh. and uh yeah we'll see how it goes too hard i'm gonna throw it on it is from go power sports so we'll see what happens oh sure what happens Alright, I'll have to work this out later. This joke. It's spring loaded. So I don't have to, have to remove this piece. It came with this. So if you guys could just comment below what you think. Is it a manual choke? Not manual. Or is it a, a different setup for a different application? Uh oh, falling again. Mm. Here we go. Alright, got the valve cover off. Uh, kind of tore up the gasket on the edge here, but I'm just going to reuse it. Now the hard part. Taking off these little E-clips without losing them. This is one I had to replace because I lost the original. For some reason I just took off the wrong side. Stupid. When you do this, just kind of... Be... Be alert. Ouch. Don't stab yourself. Just take your time. You can get these little clips at like a parts store. I got this something at AutoZone. These little picks. Now when I do this, hold that right there. Back up. Because you want to put something down here in your spark plug so it doesn't drop. So some rope or some string, anything like that. So let me go get some. Just gotta remove these caps here. Everything's so slippery. It's 
rings come off will be slit there slide it back on now last time I tried doing this I almost lost an eye There, I'm about to land three hours later. All right, got that on. Try to get away with just using the same gasket again. There's that. There. Air filter and adapter. Header pipe. This is the Go Power Sports uh, performance kit. So be sure to check out the link down below. And uh, yeah. I didn't want to put a gas tank on this because the pole cart already had one, but I got to figure out how to use my pulse pump. And someone said that you can go off of your, uh, when you remove your governor, you can go from there. But, kind of still got my governor in for now until we get those mods completed. I kind of moved everything outdoors because the lighting on this camera is awful. So we did air filter, air filter adapter, header pipe, and 18 pound valve springs, which you can get this whole kit from gopowersports.com. I'll just drop a link down below. And this spring here, it goes to your governor arm. You can use it on either one of these settings and it should change your RPM. I usually put it in this middle one here. Or you can experiment. We can move it back some. Alright, got the throttle set up. Clutch on. Got to put a washer in between. So there's no play. No. So this first episode was basically putting the small mods on the Hemi, which was the Go Power Sports uh, performance kit, the valve springs, jet carb, air filter and adapter, header pipe, and muffler. Yeah, what I came in here for. So easy. Try to figure out. And I'm wanting to paint this cover. I painted the other one red. So different color scheme for this. You guys let me know what you want. I thought about maybe some yellow. Splat some yellow on there. Uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys want. Alright, what's going on guys? Alright, we're going to pick, off, pick up where we left off yesterday. 
uh, got really late on us and ran out of light, so we got everything mounted on for the mods. Now we just got to do the engine swap and then test fire and test ride. And we won't do a test ride till later today, so if it doesn't make it in the video, I will add it in in a short video clip later on in the day. Alright guys, we're just going to finish the install of this motor and then in the next video we'll do gearing and test ride. Right now we're just going to get this thing mounted down. And All right, guys, thing set. Camera keeps falling over. I just I think I stripped the threads on this the throttle but that's one for a throttle cable take the cable off of this one just keep all lines connected and I'm just gonna remove the gas tank keep it all as a set and then we're going to do the size this is 60 68 tooth sprocket wow we're going to drop that down to like a 50 and there's no need to run 68 tooth so, we'll have to tighten down the wheel hubs. Just pop right up. Like so. So we can. Alright, so I just damaged the throttle cable. Okay, well now I gotta find a replacement. Like That's all I have on hand. Might have to go and order one. I really don't want to. Is this cable or the one twenty five? I don't even want to tear that up. So I just have to probably wrap up this episode for the the series until I can get 
get into town and get a replacement. Because I can't even get away with this. I mean, I should have just kept it on the old linkage. Like, there's no way. Alright, well, that's it, guys. That'll be it for uh, today. Then I'll do a live feed today of the top speed once I get this fixed.